Following Amanda Nunes' retirement from MMA, the bantamweight title is up for grabs for everyone in the division, including top contenders and up-and-coming prospects. And knowing everything that's on the line, expect the 135-pounders to give it their all. The first of the many exciting fights at bantamweight following the GOAT's retirement will be between former champion Holly Holm and rising star Mayra Bueno Silva, with the winner making a massive leap towards ultimate glory. Who will come out on top? Let's find out. Mayra Bueno Silva was originally scheduled to face Misha Tate, but the former champ pulled out due to injury and another former champ stepped in to save the show. The Brazilian is riding high following three consecutive victories and she'll do her best to make it four in a row when she steps inside the octagon against of the best female fighters of all time. Holm has been on a solid run as well, winning three out of four fights since losing to Amanda Nunes and she most recently beat Yana Santos by a decision. The Preacher's Daughter is the toughest test of Silva's career Will she pass it with flying colors? Holm is one of the finest strikers in the UFC bantamweight division. An elite kickboxer who loves to stick and move, Holm is a tricky matchup for a more stationary striker in Silva. One of Holm's major tools is her range kicking, which she uses to devastating effect against most fighters. Holm likes to fight at range and keep his opponents away, but she's also very good at counters, especially her straight rights when backing off which may come in handy against Silva. Although Holm prefers to fight at distance, she does lunge forward with big combinations every now and then before quickly moving out of the danger zone to avoid counter shots. Against aggressive fighters like Silva, Holm's game revolves around counterattacking and fighting in the clinch, where she devastates her foes with elbows and punches on the break. Overall, Holm is a very polished striker. Myra Bueno Silva may not be as technical as Holly Holm, but she's still a powerhouse who shouldn't be messed with. Silva is a powerful striker who likes to throw hands, and like Holm, she also does a great job of range kicking her foes into oblivion. Silva likes to fight in the clinch as well, as she has devastating knees to unleash. The Brazilian is always pushing forward with bad intentions and throws lots of volume inside the octagon. As mentioned earlier, Silva isn't as technical as Holm, but she doesn't need to be since her power and volume do the job for her, for instance, forcing her foes into going for takedowns and once the fight hits the mat, Silva is a terror off her back. A submission grappler unlike any you may have seen in women's MMA, Silva has the ability to submit people from the bottom at any moment. All she needs is an opening and a split-second error made by her opponent, and it'll be curtains for them. The Brazilian isn't a takedown artist per se. She rarely goes for takedowns and has a moderate takedown success rate. In most cases, it's her opponent who takes her down and pays the ultimate price for it. Silva's jiu-jitsu is out of this world. Will Holly Holm go for takedowns to contain Silva's aggression on the feet? Although it seems unlikely, the possibility of Holm taking Silva down can't be completely ruled out, especially when Silva can be a tricky one to deal with on the feet. If the American indeed goes for a takedown or two, Silva won't mind fighting off her back because that is how she wins fights. But if Holm doesn't take her down, Silva will have to take the fight to the mat herself. And that's the problem. As good a submission artist as Silva is, her wrestling isn't high level whereas Holmes' takedown defense is one of the best in the division. She has fought some of the toughest grapplers in the world and has held her own against them. In the open, Holm is tough to take down because of her distance management, but against the cage, she's even tougher to take down because of her balance and her knowledge of underhooks. But even when Holm gets taken down, she has the ability to pop right back up. The American has a slight edge in every department bar the submission grappling one. She's the better striker with an excellent takedown defense, has more experience, and has fought the who's who of the bantamweight division. Silva is indeed a tough test, but Holm has fought fighters like her throughout her career, so she should be able to hold her own against a rising star and get her hands raised on the night with a decision. Who do you think will win? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.